Uh-oh, we are live. Hold on. Our driver, Red, is telling us that we are near the African American Museum in D.C. Yeah, we need to go in there, though. So we gonna go in? Kind of. I mean, you know, I'm, we might as well. This baby's so cute. We have, like... Okay, so Tamika and I are in D.C. for a quick business meeting. And we have a little time to kill, so we've been riding around DC being tourists. <laughs> What's up, y'all? You um, mm -hmm. you're on Facebook Live? Yes, I'm on Facebook Live. And up, oh, people are coming in. Hey, hey, hey. To make a tiny cuddle. How about we just have a regular conversation? What is this new hair color you got going on? I really like it. You know, when I get my hair done. Like I go for a um, ash blonde, it always turns like a grayish color first. I don't know, and then you wash it and it turns a blondish color. I don't know. Really? Yeah. After you watch it? Yeah. So I haven't watched it yet, so it's still gray. Oh. Grayish. Okay. Blonde or something. But that is your real hair, right? Yeah, it's me, girl. I'm growing. Okay, girl. Your hair growing back. actually got clip-ins today, you know, so. I like your clip-ins. You do? Thank you. I'm trying to figure out what my next hair color is going to be. Yeah, me too. I cannot. I mean, you know, I really like dark hair on me. You do? I do. But I get bored quick. Yeah. So, it's like, if I go dark, I'm scared to go dark and then get bored. And, yeah. You know. I would like to have the best of both worlds. Like, mm -hmm. dark roots can go with you know, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's see what some of the people have in the comments. Da -da 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 -da. Thelma Cartwright Power says, Hi, Candy and Tiny. How are y'all doing? I'm doing really good. How are you doing? Hi, <laughs> We're doing great. Um, you know, just out here trying to make some more great things happen. More things to get excited about in the future. That's about it. Um, Karen Washington said, what, what y'all doing in D.C. today? We have a meeting we have to go to. Yep. With the big dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got to tell you who we meet with. We got meetings. That's all we got to say. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Sheila Simpson says, Hey, Candy, I missed the second episode from last night. Did you put Portia in her place? <laughs> <laughs> last night was pretty much Ratchet TV. You know, it was very, um, how would I say it? Um, not a good, um, not a good example to be giving on, on TV. Um, but you know, that happens sometimes, you know, when you have to talk to people about things that they said, you know, about you, you have to have, you go there sometimes with people, so, yeah, it was one of those moments, and, uh, yeah, it might get a little worse on the next episode. Mm. <laughs> what you think, Tiny? How can it get any worse? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna get worse. You think it's gonna get worse? No, I know it's gonna get worse, because I was there. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ready for it. All the juice, you know. Are you really? I don't know. Anyway, um, let's see. What did that just say? It said the number of people watching your video is increasing. Seventy five hundred people are watching the video. Well, hello, people. <laughs> How are you? Um, okay. Um, Mags Lee Hung Hungerford and three other people shared our video. We really appreciate you guys sharing the video. Yeah. Um. Let everybody else know that we're live right now. Uh, for those of you just logging on, Tiny and I are in DC. Um, how about we? How about let's do this? Why don't we just stop by? D What's some like popular little food spot around here? We can just stop through, right quick. You know, we'll take the people on the tour of DC while we're wasting time to our meeting. <laughs> What happened to the uh, to the black museum we was going to? Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. We need to go to the museum. I thought the African American museum. 
Oh, we, we got to get tickets though. Oh, okay. And we ain't we don't have time to really like go through the whole museum. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back so I can see the whole place. But it looked like it was really nice from the outside. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds crazy, right? <laughs> How you gonna say the museum looked nice from the outside? <laughs> but it did. The art, um, I mean, architecturally, it was a nice building. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, um, somebody said, let's see, is Escape coming back? I love you ladies to make another record. <laughs> Why the deep breath, Candy? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. You never know, you know, what's in store right now. We're just taking it one day at a time. Yeah, I think um, we are on our way to a healing process. Yeah. Is that a better way to put it? Yeah. Yeah. So, with that being said, um, like she said, <laughs> we, after, you we know? take one day at a time. <laughs> Definitely. That's what I'd say. Um, that would be the better way to look at it. But... You know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be the negative Nancy, so, <laughs> you know, let's just go don't start be back. The negative Nancy, Yeah, I'm going to start back. I'm working on, you know, getting back to, to get back to know each other again and, um, you know. Yeah. Let me start there. I'm going to get, I'm working about getting somebody in the studio. Well, I was trying to get you in the studio. <laughs> that mean, I know. I'm, I'm that. one time I'm like getting somebody in the studio. I ain't been in the studio. But I was thinking about it. Well, I, I mean, told you. I told you I had songs I that know, you could you, record. And I told you to send it to me. You never did. Oh, damn. I just feel like if I send her something, she's just going to just not do nothing. I'm that just going to have to get. True. I'm just going to have to bring her to the studio and just make her record. That's what happened. Not true. Okay, well, I'm going to send you the song, yeah, too. Send to I'm going to send her the song. Um, I think it's time for people to hear your beautiful voice again. Oh, thank you. Well, we might as well do a little song together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's look at some of these people's comments um oh mm -hmm. let's see do, 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 do. no it's moving so quickly um uh, somebody said oh wait it was lowest low low tiny huggies says candy stop being so messy girl <laughs> well that don Juan, but ace is so cute now get in get and keep your grown on ma'am <laughs> well i mean i think everybody has been messy on this show this year i'll give it that i own my part but the messy from last night hey I had to go in because she started that. Now, y'all be trying to talk about how I started, but this time, I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> they have been talking about me, whispering about me, when they should be whispering about themselves. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So, don't whisper about me if you need to be whispering about yourself. No. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Rhonda Moore says, Tiny, you do need to join the Housewives of Atlanta. You and Candy will be awesome together. Yeah. <laughs> they got too much drama over there, baby. <laughs> I don't think she would ever do that. I don't think so. <laughs> no. Um, she's not. Mm -mm. She wouldn't be for it. Mm -hmm. you know, and that wouldn't yeah. work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But love the show, though. Yeah. You know, they get paid good money. You ain't lying. I might shit need to get a check, but. <laughs> <laughs> Think about speaking, everybody be cussed out every day <laughs> if she was on there. Y'all think, y'all think I was bad last night cussing somebody out? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, she was so angry. When she? Oh, me? Boy, you got. I, don't I didn't think I was. Preview. No, I don't no, think no, I was the previews for the next one. 
Oh, 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 the previews for the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got a little... No, 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 no. Let's be clear, because I think a lot of people um, think that I was angry about the comments that she made that y'all saw last night. But no, it's more to it, which really took me over the top. Mm, okay. And I was, I can't go into it anymore. Y'all just going to have to wait. Um, I don't even know what all they're going to show. So I haven't seen the next episode, but I just know, I just know from being there, it was more to it for me to just right. explode like that. Because you know what, honestly, I've been trying my best not to um, react in a way where, like how I ended up acting mm-hmm. in, in Hawaii. Because I felt like they were doing things purposely trying to get me to, um, you know, get mad and want to fight. Mm-hmm. You know how when somebody had a, in, a, that already has that reputation that sells and they're trying to get that reputation off of them and put it on you? Mm-hmm. I feel like that's what was kind of happening to me um, a couple times this year. You know, the word bully was being thrown at me a lot, even at times when I wasn't yelling or fussing. It was like, oh, Candy's a bully. And I'm like, wait, hold on. What? Candy's a bully. You ain't seen bully right now. (laughs) That that was what? Okay. I'll be live on there, baby. How many you got no hotel? in a hotel for our, we only had one hour before our meeting. But after that meeting, what were we supposed to do for five hours? We had five hours after the meeting? I mean, I, we don't need it. What time, Mike? I mean, right, Red, seven? I mean, Mike. Well, we gotta be what at time, Red? Seven? Seven thirty. Uh-uh. I thought we got beat up by, I thought I left at six. Wait, I need to go back and look. You ain't finna have me stuck out here. Hold on, let me just ask. Make sure. Wait. Let's see. What everybody? Uh, the conversation started. They we got seventy five hundred okay. comments already. So, Ryan, mm. um, what? Hey, don't don't say I'm flying. We on live. Thousands well, of people on here now. Like talking on the phone. We can check it once I get off of here. We on the same flight. I ain't saying what time it is, but we on the same oh, that's flight. My flight? Oh. All right, cool. Oh, maybe because I thought oh we had to be there by that time. Whatever. Anyway. Okay, so um, Sajan, I don't know how you pronounce it, S-A-J-A-N, Colin says, Tiny, you're so pretty. Hope you and Tip work it out. Too much invested. If it is, if it's mutual, work it out. <laughs> Thank you. What I you think, think about that, Tiny? I think. Thank you. <laughs> Guess who I ran into on Valentine's night? <laughs> Out to dinner together. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm not going any further than that. Okay, next question. Uh, Jaquita Thomas. I love both of you all. Candy, it don't matter what you like, boo. I'm just like you like women too <laughs> who cares hun you happily married and in a wonderful relationship they just messy as hell love you both <laughs> hilarious yeah that's right <laughs> that <doesn't matter. laughs> oh my gosh that's so funny okay <laughs> anyway um Uh, Deandra L. Loyal says, Loving last night's episode, but girl, I wanted you to get Phaedra. Um, okay, let's be clear. What happened with Phaedra? Well, apparently, Phaedra was a part of the, of, I guess, the original conversation they had. Mm-hmm. She had um, said that I had, um, that me and Shamia was supposed okay. to be getting it on together. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway, and. Portia was also a, a part of that conversation and Sheree. Okay. Now, what I had to explain to the people is nobody ever told me this whole season while we were taping that Phaedra was a part of the conversation. I never knew that she said anything like that and until I watched it on television. Same, well, I get, I get to see the episode maybe one day before you guys do. So, 
right when y'all found out, I basically found out too that she said it. But everything, the season had already been taped by then. So it was never a point where I could address it or, you know, we could talk about it or anything. So I guess the only time that it will be addressed is at the reunion. And we haven't done that yet. So you'll have to, we, we both, me and y'all, and you will have to wait to see how that conversation goes. Girl, y'all have these reunions and everything. It's just been too much. It is. And you know, I am not looking forward to it this year. Not at all. Mainly because I feel like this year I was involved in every single drama. All the scandals. Why, though? <laughs> the only drama that I wasn't a part of, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but unfortunate that I was a part of all the drama but um the only drama I wasn't in was the drama between Kenya and her dude oh, okay. yeah but every time something happened it seemed like it was either me and Phaedra having issues or me and Portia having issues me and my daughter's father having issues uh this issue yeah honey your, your, your storyline was tightened up at this time baby uh, I don't. I hate that whole storyline business too. You know, I really do. I hate when people always be like, "Oh, you need to work on your storyline." Like, this is my life, people. <laughs> like, I ain't sit up here and say, "Oh yeah, I want to make this a storyline." Like, right. you know, it's certain things that you know that you working on during the time of the show that you like. Oh, okay, they're gonna follow that. Like, okay, me and Ty, you know, putting together everything with the restaurant. Which we're hiring, by the way. So if you're in Atlanta and you have a resume, I'm not trying to ha hire nobody who's not going to be good at their job. So if you need a job and you are good in the restaurant business, serving, whatever, you know, fill out an application. But anyway, um, what was I telling you? Yeah, yeah, I just hate that. I hate when people say that whole storyline. Yeah. Oh, your storyline. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, whatever goes on between Riley and my her dad and all that like that is a lifelong that's been a lifelong issue right that has nothing 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 to do with me trying to make it a storyline okay okay thank right. you you know, most of the time your producers jump in y'all life and dig and shit and then bring it to the forefront it's yes terrible. basically basically terrible terrible yeah and sometimes you find them trying to pull up stuff that you don't even really want to discuss it's like i don't know okay you guys let's see let's move on mm -hmm. there's a lot of people in here um let's see um Sharon Strozier says, I have so many ha um I have so many haters. Don't feed them devils. Ignore them bitches and stay true to who you are. Thank you. Oh, Nelson Toya says, I love Riley's song. Hopefully her dad becomes a better father after hearing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody, please, I would appreciate it if you go online, Google Play, iTunes, whatever you, you know, use and get Riley first song better late than never. Yeah, get it right I, now. I need to get it right now too cuz I Get it right now, Tiny. Get it right now. Get it right now. Everybody get it right now. Um you really have to listen to it, listen to the words, listen to the meaning like she this is her being able to vent her feelings. I know last night it was um I love the little emotional Man. package they put together. She was mad at me cuz she Riley. Riley, R I L E Y, okay. space B U R R U S S. Okay. You in the iTunes store? Yeah. There it is, right there. Right there. Can you see it? Y'all see it? Dang, I that song. Mm -hmm. Gonna get it. Anyway, <laughs> um,. Yeah, uh, Riley was mad at me talking about, you told me they were just going to play the overdub, so I wasn't even really trying to sing. 
She was mad because she, she, didn't, she didn't hear her notes like she was supposed to. I was like, well, then that should go to show you that next time you're supposed to put in 100% effort every time, even if you don't think that they oh, are man. recording you. So, that was a lesson learned for, for her. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, but no, my daughter actually can sing, even though she had messed up a little bit when she was in the booth last night. But anyway, but regardless of whatever um i want to thank those of you who've already gotten the song i appreciate y'all she's like moving up the itunes chart i haven't checked to see i don't know how google play does or whatever with their chart or, but i don't know how that goes but um for everybody who's supported i really appreciate you. i mean like really because y'all don't understand for a young person riley's 14 to for their life to be put out there in front of the world and that's a sensitive subject you know it, it you know it's hard to be especially because she's shy so for her to share that with the world is a lot but the other cool part about it is i've seen a lot of people say that they can relate to the song and they've been telling me you know stories about how their kids you know just been playing it over and over since you know they downloaded it or whatever which it makes me feel good. At first, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was pissed about my um, my daughter's father coming on the show. Um, nobody told me that um, he was supposed to be showing up. So that, like, what was the first couple episodes when they showed him and um, well, not him, but his um, girlfriends pop by the studio. I did not know that was going to happen. I know everybody's like, oh, you set that up. No, I did not. That was not a storyline I was trying to put on the show, but I'm not, I, at this point, because now we're months later, um, I'm not going to lie, it has helped a little bit, because before, you know, we weren't communicating at all, like, not at all, but then, since then, you know, since being on the air and all that stuff, he has been consistent about reaching out and you know trying to rebuild with Riley mm -hmm. so that was good and on top of that you know for those of you who want to know um he did hear the song um you will see it you'll see it later on um I don't know when it's gonna air but I'm yeah glad they getting that little relationship yep that's, that's great he's that's been the trying thing about them digging up in your past Oh my god. I don't know how great that is, but um yeah. But the thing about Riley is I keep telling her you got to you got to meet him halfway, you know what I'm right. saying? You can't just let him keep you know, he keep trying, he keep trying and you are not being open right. or, you know, or reaching back out. You you know, and she's like, "Well, he did this, he did that." Which that's why we did the song so she could get it all out <laughs> you know what I mean but at the same time it's like I mean I guess all of us who've ever been in a situation where you had a parent where they weren't really there like that growing up it's like every time you want to you know come back with well, well you ain't do this or you ain't do that but it's that's not gonna make the situation any better so we're working on it mm -hmm. just to let y'all know update <laughs> Uh, um, let's see. Da -da -da. Nellie King says, You're a good mom to your daughter, Candy. Her story is necessary because she is not the first child to have this experience. There are a lot of us out here. You're right. Keep your head up, you and your daughter. Um, you and your daughter are helping millions to cope with the same problem. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, let's see who else is um, um mm, let me see Tasha Cola says Tiny is such a great person love her and love you too Oh, Tiny I love, love you, you girl I love him too just over here in your comments Mary Carson says shout out to Tiny love you girl praying love you and T.I. get back right Thank you. We need all y'all prayers. Yay. <laughs> I'm praying too. <laughs> I like 
them together. I really don't want them to break up. She do. You know, I have never noticed how much she looked like you, Tim, when you took these photos. Really? Yeah. Your baby look alike. I don't need pictures, especially that other picture of her. It's funny because, yeah, you're right. People were, um... This picture right here? Yeah, people kept saying, I thought that was you. I thought that was you. Just like you. Yeah, well... That's my baby. They say if you feed them long enough, they start looking like you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. What else we got? Hmm. What are we doing? Um, Quantina Peter says, Hey, Candy, love your daughter's boldness. Um... Uh, Bonus to share a song of feelings with the world and she can sing like her mommy. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know what's so funny to me? It's um and let me say I appreciate the um positive comments and I appreciate the um I appreciate, you know, everybody who's been supportive. And understand I can respect when people give their opinion and stuff like that. But when people just be trying to be mean to kids, oh, that gets on my nerves. I can't stand it. Not that, well, I'm sure you know, I've seen you clap back on a few people who have stuff to say about your kids. I don't play about my kids. You know what I'm saying? You can say whatever you want to say about me. You say something about my kids, I'm going crazy. <laughs> I just, it's just in me. Yeah. I can't help it. Yeah, I really be like, okay. And I do my best not to um, even reply. I try my best to just block, delete, block your ass, delete. Because it's like, if I give you any type of clap bag, then you might get some, like, shine. Who? How old did you think she was? I don't know. Today is her birthday? Who you calling now? 30, 30. She did 29. This is my baby. Hey, neat, neat. Oh, she calling Zanik. So we're gonna give her a break. Um, let's see. Darla Taylor says, huh? "So very proud of you both of you as women, moms, and portrayal of working women. It's not always oh, easy. Okay. Your baby did a good job. Thank oh, you." Um, uh, let me see. Uh, she breathing a little hard. Um, I love the way you encourage your daughter. Wish I had a mom like you. I love writing and making music. Hopefully, I get a chance to work with you one day. That would be ultimate blessing. Angel, Who go did? get a good one. Hello, Angel. Uh huh. Hmm. Let's see. And what happened? Oh, okay. Jamisha Covert and 270 others just shared your video. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's see. What else would you guys? want to talk about um oh, what is her name Lalita Kerbeam <laughs> says what you, what you I'm now? working on repairing what my relationship with my father now haven't been in my life either the last time we saw each other was about 13 to 14 years ago SMH yeah it's a hard thing when you're trying to rebuild after so many years cause then you <sighs> Like, even in my own situation, you know, um, me and my father, you know, we've tried a few and times to get back go, on the same you know page, to, uh, but then right, one little you know, thing happened, do and then did, uh, we'd be H back H to the you know not that, communicating right? and stuff like that, so it is hard, yeah, like, you know, it's hard. It's constant it's work. Right, we all have to put in an effort. To merge them. Let's see. Oh, that. Curtis Richardson. Candy, the old lady gang need their yeah, own okay. show. It's a couple like things that Vanderpump you can't do on rules. And Just and saying. The, I agree. The, the old lady gang is hilarious. Like, like hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. Let's see. Again, so I, I like, can't express enough so how to keep. Can't do Wait, oh. Kirsten Anderson says, again, I can't express enough how you keep it real. I wish a lot of women could be that way. Yes, please don't talk about the kids. Thank like you. Don't talk about my kids. Mm -mm. Mm, let's see. Um, who else? 
Oh, okay. Michelle Brumfield says, I so miss you ladies, but as a black woman, I really appreciate it what all the women are doing in the world to be great women, independent and prosperous. Keep God first always. Yeah, Shout out to you. About, you um, Yolanda you Nana yeah. McIver um, says, Hi Candy, just heard the song. That song can speak for many young girls out there. My father was a loser. Ugh, I sure hate it. Love you all. Tiny, you look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> She's talking her little, her, well, not her little girl. She's grown now, but so, her uh, baby girl, um, Tiny. I think you should maybe A fun fact. Did y'all know that I cut the cord when Zanik was born? <laughs> I hold that near and dear to my heart. <laughs> I did. It excites me that I did that. Like, you know, it was pretty cool to be there and cut the cord. Yeah. Anyway. But, um, let me see. Uh, can we? Yeah, sure. We can find another boy. Um, let's see. Um, I'm sorry. Mm, let me see. I'm trying to see. Going up, going up, going up. Huh. Shantae Wells says, um, Hey, Candy and Tiny, I love you both, guys. Y'all need a show together. I love your realness. Um, Candy, you keep your foot on those thirsty housewives, Nick. <laughs> Praying for Tip and Tiny. Yes, definitely. Um, <laughs> Tiny, they keep saying we need our own show together. Not like it. Man, we need to be working on it. Rover Bentley says, Candy, I don't allow no one to talk shit about you. You are my fave. If okay, they have so a problem, they can cash me outside. <laughs> <laughs> cash me outside. How about that? No. <laughs> well, thank you, Rover. Okay, I appreciate well, this, you. Well, how about this? Why don't you just go do the couple uh, of things you got to do and then pick up? Let's see. Uh, like, you got to go. Do, do, do. You know, oh, Clothiel Hawk. Um, I can't pronounce the other part. Atahia and 314 others shared our video. Thank you. Alright. Let's see. Uh, Keisha Marshall says Candy, you are amazing and you are raising beautiful children. May God continue to bless your family and care um, and career. Tiny, you also amazing. Holding down mothers. Well, holding down mother. Love y'all. Hmm. Thank you, Keisha. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. Let's keep rolling. Christy Game says, You're a very honest person on the show. That's why Portia has issues with you because she wants to be you. <laughs> Love the song. Your daughter is so lucky to have you. Keep your guard up. Thank you. All right, Tiny. You ready to answer some of these questions on here? Oh, I talk. Huh? Get it, Ray Ray. What are you talking Eating about? it up, girl. Oh that birthday gosh. shake. She's looking at Rihanna. Happy birthday to Rihanna. Yes, girl. Happy birthday. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know you was 29. 29. Yes, Do you yeah, remember you when you were 29? Party. What were you doing at 29? Turning up. <laughs> Turning up. 29. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's see. Um, bounce back, Lizzie Duval says, "Can you just give me a shout out? Cause nobody think I'm live with you for real. Shout out my wife. Sh shout my wife out, please. Her name is Hazel Graves. Hey, Hazel Graves, what's up, girl? Um, mm, mm, mm. um, okay." Sheila Eccles says, I love you so much. 716 to life. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. People want to be you, so don't worry about folks. You are the best. Team Candy. Mwah! Shout out to everybody that's part of Team Candy. 
Everybody who supports me, I appreciate you. What are you doing, Tiny? And Tony sang a happy birthday to uh, Birdman. Are they still together? Actually. Oh. So how long has that been? Happy birthday. How long has that been? It's been sound like about a year, about two years now, huh? Mm hmm What's going on? Look at him. Cute. What side are you looking at, Tamika? Yeah, I'm on uh, Shade Room. Shade Room. Okay. I feel like I work for the shade room right now. <laughs> you just stepped inside of the shade room. Yes, and this is what's going on in the shade room. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, Francesca Cunningham says, Keep up the great job, you two. Balancing your careers and being mothers, wives is hard. But you two are doing a great job. Love you guys. Yeah, thank you. We love you too. Nicole Coco Daly says, Hey, Candy, you definitely are my favorite. The realest one of those fake and phonies. Looks like your patience is running thin. Will you stay or just let the messy, messy bitches be? Da -da -da -da. Okay. Let's have a fun chat time. So we get coddle. What, I mean, no. Excuse me. Why do I keep reverting back to your maiden name? No. I Tamika <laughs> Harris, sorry. Um Okay, so you've been knowing me since I was younger. Okay. I just okay, certain things Okay, what is something that people say about me that you think is incorrect? Or that you feel like, you know, like they get wrong from the show? I don't know. I don't know what a lot of things that they say about you. You know, I um, tend to tune in when I can, and I don't really hear a lot unless, you know, it's coming from somebody close to us. I don't know what... Oh, like you don't keep your ear to the streets? So you know. Yeah, I don't know exactly okay. what's being All right. said about cool, you. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's say... Oh, uh, let me see. What are some people be saying? Let me think. Okay, so oh, okay. This this. this oh. Now you would not believe this from watching the show, but I do not like to argue. That is something I really don't. I really can't stand arguing. So, so it just got dark in this tunnel. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Get, let's get out the tunnel. Okay, so tiny. Yeah. Would you please tell me? I don't even like this to argue. Do I? This is true. You do not like to argue. I like to argue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, it is kind of crazy that you know, I have been into all this craziness because I don't even argue. Like, that's not my thing. I'm very um, laid back for the most part. Yeah, most part. Oh, Tamika's on the phone again. That's one thing she loves to talk on the phone. Mm. Let's see. Oh, um, I don't know. I mean, we're just riding around because my mean man want to call. Mm -hmm. So we're riding where we're at now, Red. We're still in D.C. Just, it's just in D.C. We don't make Where we headed? Right now. Uh, we headed to our mean and we just, just rolled. We're riding around, but okay. Just rolled? If, 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 um. Okay. Get me now. I, 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 Let's see. I, I, I Demetra Holman Perry says, Candy, I am 41 years old. My relationship with my father was a struggle growing up due to jealous stepdads. Tell Todd I love how he represents as, as a loving and supporting stepdad and husband. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Todd definitely is supportive of Riley and um, her dad rebuilding their relationship. Uh, um... Yes, uh, Sammy yes, Jones says, you. Hi, Candy. Me and my partner, girlfriend, just heard the song, too. We both grew up with absent far, um, absentee fathers. I meant a, um, It meant a lot for us to hear, and congratulate you both on it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see. Let me scroll down. Hmm. Let's see. Don Gadling says... Candy, do you feel you will leave the show after this season? I saw you saying your contract is up. 
you are real and have a fan base. Maybe your own show without the dead weight. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I can't say what's going to happen right now. I mean, you know, I cannot say. Um, you never know. What you up there watching? I'm just watching everything on the gram, you know? Who is that? Tisha. Tisha Campbell? Uh -huh. You follow her? Yeah. Oh, what made you start following Tisha Campbell? I've seen her a couple times hanging out with Tamar, so I just started following her, you know. How is Tamar doing? I don't know. Y'all haven't talked? No. Oh. Damn. But I see she's doing good. Happy Valentine's Day shit. You see a Valentine's Day? It was amazing. No, I didn't see it. How did you see that? I seen on Shade Room, baby. Oh, okay. I was wondering. It's fucking amazing. Were y'all back following each other? No. <laughs> I'm being messy now. Mm -hmm. I'm so terrible. I'm not being messy. Yeah, I am. Yes, I was being messy. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't being messy. Yeah, I am. I was being messy. No, I shouldn't have been doing that. Sorry. No, I just, I just hate when, um, when you know, friends have like stupid issues with each other. It's just so stupid. We should get over it. Anyway, um. Latara Haynes says, Hi, Candy and Tiny. Candy, are you still close to Leroy Jones? Love that song and the album, by the way. Thank you. Yes, I am. My stepfather's amazing. He's not really the um, talkative type or like to be around people type. He's very much to himself and does not want to be in the public eye. Um, uh, what? Are you watching now? Why does it always seem like you be looking at something messy? I'm thinking that. <laughs> you just gave me a good old time watching that, right? All right, Teron Johnson. Teron Johnson says, "Why do they keep testing all these women like Lena, Hazel, etc., and not putting them on the show? Who do you want to see join the show?" I have no idea why they do that. Um, you know, sometimes we take with people, and then when we see the show, it doesn't really—they don't really show them much. Um, we have no say so, or no control. Of what they decide to do, show, pick, none of that. Um, sometimes, you know, we can um, introduce, um, you know, people that we know to them when they're thinking about folks, but I don't really get no say so. So, as far as who would I want to join the show? Hmm. Who do you think would be good to join Housewives, Real Housewives of Atlanta? Out of who? Um, out of people we know. Hmm. I don't know. No, I don't know. You know what? I wish. About Monica. I don't think Monica would want anybody in her business. Uh-uh. She would. No. Okay. You know, I have a few friends who are great personalities, yeah. but they wouldn't show their personalities on the camera. What? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, we got friends who not gonna really. Well, who are you talking about? I ain't yeah. talking about nobody. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying that you know. Okay, so this is my thing. Tiny, you know how like you are pretty much kind of like an open book. You know, whatever you say, just what comes up comes out. Right. You know, I'm saying, I'm just saying, whatever I, whatever come up, comes out. Right. But we do know a lot of people who edit themselves. Yeah. You know, because of whatever. I don't know. I guess image and stuff. So, that's the kind of stuff that I mean. But, somebody wish that Rashida could have been on our show. I thought Rashida was on y'all show. That's 
Oh, she's no. on Love and Hip Hop. She's on Love yeah, and Hip Hop. I get y'all mixed up. Love and Hip Hop, Real Housewives, it's all drama, drama, drama. Oh, you such a hater. You just got this drama, bunch drama, of drama, <laughs> drama, drama, drama. <laughs> Shit. You know what, though? I don't know who got the most drama. I don't know. You know what? See, this is the thing. Tamika, she got control in her show. You know, they're executive <laughs> producers of their show. So, you know, when they have drama, you ain't never going to see it because they right. get to have say so <laughs> in that. That's so not fair. She likes to talk about us. See, we are part of an ensemble cast. That's what they call shows like Housewives of Atlanta or. Um, you know with, with the love oh, and hip-hop hip they're called ensemble shows which means like you know it's not just about you it's like a cast of people which therefore you do not have say so in anything you just have to deal with what comes miss Co why do i keep calling you that miss harris over here yes she gets to have some say so which i'm on a family show praise god and, you know, I just have to deal with my own family and our own mess. You know what I'm saying? And that's enough for me. I can, you know, just sleep well at night. I ain't got to worry about them putting my business out. Everybody else do anyway, so fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> True that. Okay. Mm, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see what else they got. Um. Look, 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 this is um, this is my pet peeve. She did it. Can't do now, Pamela, yeah, yo, oh my God, <laughs> time to tell people what my pet peeve is. She hate when people call her Candice. Candice. She be like, my name is Candy. Yes, I cannot stand that. I don't know. It just boils my blood because I'm like, no, my name is not anywhere <laughs> written Candice ever. It's candy. And I don't understand why we all take candy and make it longer. Candy is my real name. It's on my birth certificate. It's yeah. not a nickname. So when people like say it as if, I be feeling like they just be like, oh yeah, this is her real name. Like yeah. they familiar with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, my name is Candy. She didn't want y'all to know she's really sweet, guys. Yeah. That's <laughs> all. She don't fuck up her name talking about no candies. It's candy, okay? <laughs> okay, but anyway, Pamela, I still love you, though. Pamela Douglas says, Hey, Candace, you don't know me, but I'm loving you, and I see you don't take no mess loving you sisters on Atlanta Housewife. I love you, too, girl. I appreciate you. Um... Oh, Lu Loretha McClendon says on the subject of R of the R H ah why can't I say R H O A? I'm glad the show. I'm the I'm glad that you start blasting other ladies in their stuff. Love you, love both of your families, and hope things work out for Tiny and Ti. Thank you. Everybody, y'all keep telling her now. Keep telling her. <laughs> Get your mind right over there. Get your mind right. Um, Bev Riley Abney says, Candy, do you think the show will ever show you beautiful black women in a positive light again? Hey, Tiny, keep turning up, lol. Um, okay, so when people say, you know, the show needs to show us in a positive light, um, I think it, it would be great to have a positive show, but unfortunately, history has shown when a show is too positive. And then, you know, ratings drop for whatever reason. I don't know why we don't like to support the shows that are just pretty much all about positivity. So, with that being said, I don't know if you would ever get a show where it's always positive on, um, on Housewives. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not like we never... What is... Oh, no. <laughs> That sign just gave us a, a <laughs> moment over here. She's looking at one of the blogs posted a dude for a smash or pass. Sorry, you just made, and I'm talking about positivity, and you were talking about smash or pass. <laughs> it was horrible. Let me see. Let's see. Let the people see. Which, which one you looking at now? What? Who is it? It's Industry on Blast. 
posted some dude. Then what they say? Smash, Smash your pass. pass. And you said pass. Pass. And why? Too many muscles. Ain't it? Just looks. I, I, I don't like it. I mean, you know, they're trying to they're trying to say that he got trying to show that he got something like that. It's like probably, a package. Yeah, it's probably not real. Yeah. I just I, I ain't into it. I don't I don't know. Too, yeah. too big. Yeah, too big. Too, huh? too big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turtle. Ninja turtle. <laughs> wait, wait. Why you gotta be a ninja turtle though? Look, you know how the goddamn ninja turtles got the big shell on the back. <laughs> yeah. Not a ninja turtle. Yeah. Really? Oh my god. That's hilarious. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So let's see. You are crazy. I just want to say that. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see, what else do the people have to say? Um, Yvette King says, Hi Candy, I love the fact that you put them women in their place. Sheree is a big shit starter and she <laughs> needs to be put in her place and stop running and telling everything. I love the show. Shout out from Mont County. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, mm. Dre Dre says Hi Candy, I have always loved your music And you are my fave on RHOA My dad always flaked on seeing me So I really felt for Riley And you on the show, it brought tears to my eyes Thank you I appreciate that Did you get Riley single yet though? <laughs> Did you get Riley song yet? No, here you go No, I appreciate you sharing your story, I appreciate that um, Miss Harris. Yes. Mrs. Harris. Yes. All right, what you got going on over there? Nothing, man. I'm trying to find something, you know? Mm-hmm. Just trying to find something in here. Works out. She's just whatever. Oh, Marcel D. Jarvis says, I'm a single father of an eight-year-old daughter. And any advice on teaching her to be a good woman as she gets older also, I'm thinking about moving to Atlanta from Oakland, California. What's y'all's opinion? Well, I think... It's too crowded in Atlanta. Why you say it's too crowded? It is. There's six million people there. First of all, you don't have to live right within the city. You can move to the outskirts of Atlanta in like a lot of the nice you ain't gonna like suburban it. areas. Why wouldn't they like it? It's too crowded. It's traffic getting like LA. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Let me just say this. I feel like Atlanta is a great place. It is um, the best place. Please believe it. But you don't want nobody else to move there? No, because I can't move in the city. Why? It's too crowded. Well, first of all, you like living far out anyway. It, I, you damn right. Because it's too crazy in the city. I like to go home and not be bothered. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's the cool thing about Atlanta. You can live in the city if you want to, or you can go into the suburbs, and you can still come into town when you feel like it. Um, overall, I feel like Atlanta's a great place place to live because there are so many entrepreneurs there. There are a lot of people who have their own businesses and are flourishing. So, I don't, don't listen to her. You don't need no more people. Uh, yeah, and as far as... Um, you raising your daughter on your own. I commend you for that. I feel like it's great that she has a good father behind okay. her. Maybe you should um, Say, well, get her some female uh, mentors um, that can help in areas that you won't be able to help. Because with her being eight years old, you only got a few more years before that time comes when she starts dealing with periods and stuff oh. like that. So, yeah, she's going to need, like, oh, a plenty. female mentor that can kind of, like, guide her on little simple things like what okay. pads to use. No, I know that sounds stupid, but, you know, that's kind of a conversation that maybe you couldn't really help her on. So... Yeah, if you have anybody in your life that can um, help out at times like that, then I would say do that. Birthday girl, um, and good luck with you in making your decision about whether or not you're gonna move or not. Um, let's see. Uh, 
jig living my life since I just turned 28 today. Please give me a shout out. My name is Jerrica Kelly, but everyone calls me Jig. I love you both, Tiny. That's my girl. Hey, Jig. What's up? Happy birthday. <laughs> Rhonda Round says, good morning, ladies. Candy, your daughter is beautiful and amazing. I love the song, and it was amazing. Good luck with your journey, Riley. Blessings to you guys and your day, queens. Thank you. Hmm. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Tony Johnson says, always take the high road, ladies. People don't care what it costs you until it's time for them to pay. Honey, their mouths have already located them. Um, and they ain't saying nothing. <laughs> it's hard to always take the high road. What do you think about always taking the high road? Well, you know, a lot of times when I like to when I speak back, if when the person is like so so wrong, and it just irks me, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, that's when I usually say something. Mm-hmm. Like someone said. I, I seen a post on my on my baby's post one time, mm-hmm. and I started to go in on them, but they was <laughs> like, uh, that's like, yeah, she just strikes me as fast, you know. I just feel like Atlanta girls thought harder than every other city. What? First of all, bitch, she <laughs> is far from a thought. She's not fast. She's the sweetest, most humblest little 20 year old child that you could find okay well 20 is not a child she's grown now yeah she's grown but she's very humble and sweet she's not fast she's had two men her whole you know like you know saying she's been in a relationship so fuck you and your thotting and all that shit you know what i'm saying that's how i felt but y'all like she ain't on here she was on the shade room so you know <laughs> you was gonna go in on the shade room. I was gonna room. go in on it, but she ain't have a twenty people on, on her twenty. Um, so I figured it was a fake page. But you know, those kind of comments, those are the ones make me go in because they be so wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's so mm-hmm. off. Like I feel like I need to enlighten them. <laughs> you need to enlighten them. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All right, enlighten. <laughs> Okay, Patrick B. Smith says, Candy, I wish you would read one of my responses. Sheree Messy ass needs a job. Give her one at the restaurant. <laughs> you a mess. Okay, so this is what I okay, this is what I want y'all to think about. And when we're taping and somebody says something on tape. I mean, you know, somebody gonna take it back, right? I mean, because we're on like, tape. Where we go, now, we I will say, and um, Phaedra hours, admitted you know? this on I Watch mean, What Happens last week, that apparently they didn't know that they were being taped when um, they made the comment about yeah, me and yeah, Shamia or whatever. They know, thought that it, the cameras said, were down okay. or whatever. So they was running their mouth, doing what they really do when the cameras aren't around see that but you know it's so funny i even though a lot of people's like oh i can't you know how you feel about it you know i feel like you know okay yeah i didn't like what they had to say but i was glad that they ass got caught on tape you know why i was glad they got caught on tape because phaedra always tries to you know pretend that she takes the high road when the camera is on and I've always said she does not do that when the cameras are down. She's talking <laughs> shit, she's doing whatever, and she's talking shit about me. And now that I'm replying, people so mad, they're like, she'll never say nothing about you. Yes, she does. But that time she got caught. <laughs> Why don't you eat oysters? The grill kind. Why? Why? Because I, I think I want an oyster or two. I'm in D.C. <laughs> What they got good oysters? I don't know. I'm yeah. thinking they did. Do they? Do they? Um, red. Crab. crab. Yeah, I like. Crab. I'm a crab. I'm You're a, crab. a cancer. Yeah. You're a crab. So I like crabs and all, but damn, I don't feel like crab. Oh, crabby patty. <laughs> they so good. Uh, speaking of, yeah. Phaedra used to be on y'all show, right? Yeah. She was on Tiny and Toy before. Yeah, she was our lawyer, and you know, mm-hmm. she was 
doing that. Yeah. How did that work out for you? Didn't work out too good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Didn't work out too good, huh? No. Uh, okay. We settled our differences and went on our way. Oh, okay. You realize when you settled your differences, right? No, you yeah. don't. Huh? You don't even realize when you settled your differences. Um, what do you mean? After the show, I mean... When I, when I got on house when she was on Housewives with me and I started bringing her around saying, yeah, I'll give her another chance. She cool. No. Oh. oh, is that when it happened? Okay. <laughs> yeah, because y'all wasn't talking to her for a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anyway. We will, we'll move past. Anyway, uh... <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Oh, okay. Nancy Robinson Cole says, Tiny, how long were you and T.I. married? Such a wonderful couple. I hope you two are able to fix the problems instead of throwing true love away. Praying for both God's words in his name. So how long Thank have y'all been, been married? married? Since 2010, July. Wow. Yeah. And it's 17, 2000, so that's seven years. Going on seven years, yep. Okay. And how long did y'all date prior to that? Like 10. So it's a, a total of 10 years? We, we dated... Um, well, we dated probably, I guess, I want to say about 10 years before we got married. Oh, so y'all been, been together, together for like long. 17 years? Now, well, we've been together 16 years. Really? I didn't realize it was that long. Yeah, 16 years because Messiah was one and the money was about four or five months. I did not realize y'all had been together that long. Mm-hmm. That, long. Is, that is a long time. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's move down the timeline. Let's see. Question. Livy Cole Jet says, I love to see when you all do go live and connect with us. It's wonderful to let us in on the side, away from the cameras. Kudos to you both. Love you guys. Shout out from Picayune, Picayune, Mississippi. Keep up the good work. Much love, Tim, Candy, and Tiny. Thank you. Thank you. What you watching now, Tony? I'm watching Bobby Christina singing. They posted Bobby Christina? Little beat, little beat from Love and Hip Hop. Oh, she posted it. Is this the anniversary of her passing? Uh, same way. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, okay. All right, sing it, Bobby. You know uh, I was gonna work with Bobby, man. It's really bad. You said what? I was gonna work with Bobby. I had been talking to her. She was telling me, you know, she wanted to get in the studio and all. Really? You was gonna do a song on it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she said she wanted to get back into it. Mm. She had been taking, you know, getting her voice together, training her voice back or something. Oh, okay. Thank you, girl. We'll put this up, trying to have a great night. Mm hmm. Um. Let's see. What else? Let's see. Andrea says, Candy, please shout out my mom, Alexis. She loves you. We still bang your CD when you're out in the club. Don't think I'm not. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Shout out to your mom, Alexis. Let's see. Um, Let's see. Somebody else. James Anthony Jenkins Jr. says, Candy, will you and Portia and Phaedra ever work out your differences and become friends again? Oh, honestly, I feel like it, it went too far this year. Honestly. We probably, yeah, probably won't. I mean, to be honest with you. Um, last night's argument was just, was a piece of it, you know. Um, it's gonna get worse you know um, I feel like sometimes 
I feel like when you're on a show together and you have an argument, it's hard for you to ever get back cool because they keep forcing you to talk about the negative stuff that's going on. And then when you talk about it and you say your opinion and then that person talks about it and say their opinion and then it comes on TV and you see what the other person said about you and vice versa. Then the next time you're even more mad so you say more and then they say more and then it gets worse and it gets worse until the point where it's just like it just you don't come back. I mean that's that's my feelings. I don't know about theirs. Mm. Anyway. Um, I think it's easier to work things out when you're not on the show together. I personally feel like if, well, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say because, I mean, we probably wouldn't even be friends or never have been, been tight like that had we not been on the show together because, I mean, we all became cool on the show. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, hmm. Man, and then you know I do have a problem when I feel like somebody like really, really wrong me. It's you know I cut your ass off for good. <laughs> Tiny, what do you think about that? What about me? How I am? Yes, honey. <laughs> she do not fool with you. It's over with. <laughs> Like, when they on the good side. Damn. <laughs> oh gosh. There you go. Got you. Going crazy. What? text me this number, this so-called person she was supposed to be talking about. This is what I hated about last night's argument. Because I felt like at a certain point, she just started sh saying stuff just to try to look is, like she win. And she won the argument. Wait, let's let hear the question. The question is, what did you think about last night's episode? Who do you believe? Let's know, let us know below. Team Candy or Team Portia? <laughs> What which one? Which page are you on? On um, Streets 94.5. Oh, Portia gosh. is clearly lying. Nothing's wrong with some thickness. What she, she mean? Her type of girl. Bye. Team Candy all day. Yes, babe. It went down. Team Candy. I wish that women would learn not to address everything that someone has to say about them. You waste too much time and energy because people who don't say shit. Da 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 da. Okay, did you watch it? No, Portia looks like a fine ass, sex ass, shady ass, come up when I get drunk ass, lying ass girl. <laughs> See, Candy own up and ain't shame of what she does, and I respect that. 100. Oh. I definitely thank believe you. Candy and wish someone would drag that lying Portia one time. I believe Candy, but I like Portia. <laughs> Team Candy. Okay, well, that was the comments. Well, I thank you. I appreciate that comments. Yeah, I See, this was well, speaking on that clip. This is the thing that I hate, right? Mm -hmm. You see that clip? She said, I, "I would never do that to you. You're a fucking teapot." Whatever. Remember she said that? You saw that, right? Oh yeah. Okay. When they show the clip next week, she's talking to her sister and was like, "Well, you know, I was drunk. Maybe I did. Oh, blame it on the henny." Oh, okay, bitch. So you really do like tea? <laughs> You like tea from the teapots, apparently. <laughs> I, can't. I can't wear her. I cannot. I've just felt like, I just feel like at a certain point, instead of just throwing stuff at people when they call you out on your bullshit, just own your shit. Just own it. Okay? That's right. Just own it. There is absolutely no reason that... Portia and I should be at the place where she, where we are right now. No reason. You hear me? None. The reason why I say that is because we didn't even really have a problem with each other. And when this 
whole season started. I mean, I felt like she kept, you know, putting herself in the middle of drama between Phaedra and I. And she kept acting like she had to be Captain save a But Phaedra is speaking on stuff that she really didn't need to speak on. So, I, I didn't get why she was being, you know, forcing herself into the middle of it. I felt like, you know, just let me and Phaedra deal with our own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Even, I get she's friends with her and she was supposed to be friends with me too so why are you taking sides just don't give up an opinion you know what and then right here oh okay okay anyway mm -hmm. so then um when this first situation happened oh okay he, this way you know i hear people being like oh you shouldn't have said nothing about her and block i promise y'all when me and sheree first had that conversation i was talking to sheree about um, the drama between my daughter's father and I when because we was dealing with the stuff with Riley that was right after you know I had to tell them what happened about the block or whatever and another one they go on in listen listen okay. let me, let me finish so I told um I was telling Sheree hey yeah you know he said negative things about me to people before I was like he even um, said some things to Portia. She was like, oh, Portia know the baby daddy, whatever. They, she kicked it with the baby. I was like, oh, yeah, they kicked it, but it ain't no big deal, whatever. That's what I said to her. Next thing, you know, it come back. I guess she, they told Portia that I must have said she had sex. No, I know. They brought it up at the table when we were having this little luncheon mess. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, I think Kenya asked, she was like, oh, so you you had sex with black too and then she was like no we didn't have sex now when she said it i didn't say a word mm -hmm. i just sat there and then um and then they said something like what well, candy said and i'm like no i said they kicked it okay so fast forward to the day me sheree and Portia had to go to lunch i come to the table i'm thinking we just going to lunch right uh -huh. she sitting there with attitude you know, and then Sheree is, you know, like, well, you guys need to talk. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is an intervention? <laughs> like, I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And, you know, as she started to talk, I felt like, oh, so you supposed to be coming to check me? You know, because mm -hmm. you think I said something about you and blah, not So that's how it turned into, you know, she was like, what you over here saying? I'm like, I did not say that. And she kept, you know, being snappy. Of course, you guys don't. I only see a part of the conversation, so I felt like she was being snappy, and I was like, um, okay, well, you did have sex with him, so I don't get what this is all about, but you did, so. so she did? Yeah, they had had sex before, okay. but my thing was, it's not, I had not told Sheree that, so I didn't even understand why she was trying to check me in front of Sheree, and I'm like, and then she started trying to check me about being a friend, all this other kind of stuff with Phaedra. And I was just like, okay, you're doing too much right now. <laughs> so anyway, so from there, that's when the real shade tree started happening with them talking about my back. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So so what were you about to say, Simon? Well, I'm just going to say, they got y'all on another page and they want to know about y'all. Who, what, who's what? What side? Candy, she's always on her own shit. Portia is mixy, messy, and stay, stay lying. Candy, she has no need to lie, make up stories, lines. She's popping with about the show. Candy's been a white girl. They all on your, oh, they all on your nuts. Candy, cool. She's <laughs> open with it all. So sick of Portia. Why is she even on the show? This is the show for wives. All the non-wives need to be let go. Okay, well, that was your friend page. That was Freddie O page, so that's probably why you got it. Wait, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't tell Freddie O followers to talk good about me. They that's said what, what they wanted to say. Oh, so you think, I, oh, so I influenced Freddie all of Freddie O followers, yeah. really? Really? Yeah, Shout out to Freddie O. Wow, I love you. Thank you for being my friend, but I don't think he tells his followers <laughs> what to say. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. I mean, at the end of the day, right at the end of the day, I am not going to sit here in front like I've not done some things or said some things things on this show that was you know mean or 
you know, that I could have kept to myself, you know. But in this situation, I'm sorry. I think more so than anything, I just kind of felt like, don't say anything about me if you don't want to talk about your own tea. I'm not really the person that you can kind of like feel like, oh, I'm going to put her business out there because pretty much anything that I done, I'm, I kind of like just really talk about it myself. And that is because I've been in the public eye for a very, very long time. And I know how people do. I know people love to just put you on blast. So I just feel like I just own whatever I do because when, when I did it, I did it because I wanted to do it. I didn't do it, you know because somebody told me or you know bl- I don't blame it on the henny <laughs> like she's sitting up there doing so I just own my stuff and I just feel like everybody should everybody should anyway moving right along what else you looking at mm. Michelle M. McClendon says, Candy, I love you so much. Tell these haters you're busy running businesses. The realest one. Love you, Tiny. All the way from Long Beach, California. Hmm. Let's see. Let's move down the timeline. Barbara Mansfield says, Tiny, don't throw 16 years away. I don't know what problems you and T.I. having, so I pray that y'all work it out. Y'all got a new baby. Y'all raised the uh, the other one together. You need to raise that one together. Um, together, too. You heard that? What happened? Mm. Okay. <laughs> you we got a new baby. Yeah. You need to raise a new heiress. Harris. Harris. <laughs> Harris. Aries Harris. She needs to have that whole clan together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She do. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Tammy Smith says, Candy Ace is such a beautiful and handsome baby. Do you think you're going to have another child? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have any plans to have any more right now, to be honest with you. I'm not doing anything to prevent it, but I don't really have any plans. And that is because... I just, I be so busy. I don't, I don't know to go through pregnancy again. Even though I did enjoy my pregnancy, I had a really great pregnancy. But I just don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be one thing to take little Ace wherever I go, but to be taking two, three of them, mm-hmm. <laughs> little bitty ones around everywhere. Ooh, that's gonna be hard. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm good with them. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Um, Nicole Stevens said, Candy girl, I thought you was going to dive over that table last night. Love you and Tiny since Escape. And give my love to Riley and the young homie King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... I ain't going to lie to you. There were times that I felt like diving over that table. (laughs) But I was trying to be cool. I was trying to keep it cool. You didn't think I was trying to keep it cool? Yeah, it seemed like it. You were. I was trying to. But it was like, when she started saying, oh, obviously it was so much more that was said. But it was some of that stuff that she was saying. I was looking at her like, you just made that shit up. You made that shit up. Oh, okay, this is one. This is a good one that I know that she made up and that she just took off of a blog that was said about somebody else and put it on me. Tiny, what your thoughts. It? She said, and this wasn't on the show, they cut this part out, but she said, she, she said, you um give your, you give Ty hall passes. <laughs> <laughs> Hall passes to go and get with women or some bullshit. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. Now. I said, Hell I don't to think the dog. Give them no hall passes. Hell to the dog. She yeah. got that from another couple. Yeah, I know. Of, I like you didn't get that from me, bitch. You didn't get that. No. So that's so why I was like, doing hall passes. yeah, that's why I was like, you're just making stuff up. That's why. I was like, you, girl, you just taking stuff from anywhere and saying it. 
you know, um, when she said, oh, when she said that part about, what are you doing? What are you doing? Nobody knows what you're talking about. Oh, she over here videoing again, and I'm in the back on dog on snap talking while she's on Snapchat. Anyway, but yeah, so that was one. Well, when she said the thing about up, Marvin, Marvin, I was like, what? I am, um, this I'm man, okay, I don't know if y'all know this, but well, you probably don't know this. But when we go places, I'm tired of not, people recognize him before they recognize me. He's mm -hmm. He stands out, like, in a crowd, I guess, because, you know, he's short, you know, the, be yeah. the beard or whatever. People always be like, Todd, Todd. So, who is he giving these fake names to? I was just like, at that point, I was like, I need to go. I need to go. Because this is not going in a good direction. This is not going to end well. <laughs> What are you doing now? I was kind of poking a poke. <laughs> what? I can't. What you doing? <laughs> you got colors. Huh? <laughs> that was bad, right? You see that? What are you yeah. What is she kind of doing? <laughs> Wait, oh do, I need to, do I need to mute? Yeah. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to mute for a second. How do I mute, though? Man, it's just crazy that you call me. Oh my god. I need to get out. She over here talking to Shekana and they be talking too much. Let me see. How do I? How? How do I? I gotta put you on. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Get off the loudspeaker. I don't want her business on, dog, on Facebook. No, no, I'm turning that.